Hola mis amores and welcome back to my channel. My name is Benja and I'm so excited that you're here. And as you have seen from the title, I am going to be reviewing all the glasses that I own. These are all prescription reading glasses that I use on a yearly basis because they are quite a few. Um, and as you've seen from the title, I'm trying to find out if I have a problem. A uh, majority of these, if not all of them, are luxury reading glasses or luxury prescription glasses. And I've been super fortunate to be able to have them and have my sight. <laughs> I don't wear them because they are only pretty. I wear them because they are actually functional. I do need them to see. <laughs> Right now I'm wearing my contacts, but in a little bit I'm going to switch out so that I can actually talk about the reading glasses and get to the bottom of whether or not I have a problem. I don't know, we shall see. If you are new to my channel and are not yet subscribed, please subscribe. It definitely helps me out and definitely helps with the growth of my channel. And if you want to go the extra mile and get bonus binge points, like the video and share it. I'm genuinely afraid that I have a problem that I was unaware of. So let's figure it out together. You wanna say? <laughs> I don't know if we should go in order of designer or if we should just go in order of what my hands get to. That's probably gonna be easiest. Although I don't know if you guys have seen my luxury sunglasses video where I show you guys all the luxury sunglasses that I have. I also don't know if I have a luxury sunglasses problem guys, but you let me know once you see the video. If you've already seen the video, drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. But I might just because of how many I have, I might just go through them and I'll make sure that I indicate who the designer is on the screen. That might work faster for us all. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with a pair by our good friends over at Gucci. These are like a really nice and simple pair. I saw these at the store and I figured, you know what, if I wanted like a nice secretary look, like, oh, she's studious, but you know, she just keeps it together. These were the glasses. What do y'all think? The Gucci symbol should be up there in gold. It's a super thin frame. I just feel like these glasses have me looking super studious, like she knows things, you know? What do you guys think? I'm gonna show you guys another Gucci pair. Um, this is what the first Gucci box looked like. This is what the carrying case was. I generally keep all the carry cases because I usually will just like grab a pair of glasses and throw them in my bag. If you guys have seen my what's in my bag video, you'll know that I always have a pair of reading glasses with me. In my actual video, I actually had my Gucci pair, my second Gucci pair in my bag. So this is what they look like. They are also Gucci. And I love these. I mean, those were red and they had a pretty thin frame. These are also red, but their frame is way sparklier. Y'all, you cannot tell me nothing. I just love how the frame itself has such a sparkly look to it. And then with obviously the Gucci symbols on either side, I just like these. These were a pair that I always wore when I went into client meetings and they always were very attention grabbing and they were such a conversation starter. So just like this t-shirt is. <laughs> these reading glasses were also a conversation starter during meetings, which is why I love them. I mean, they're fun. Um, so I'm gonna show you another pair. Uh, these are Tory Birch. Let me show you what the case looks like. It has the Tory symbol on there. And these, I believe, used to be sunglasses that I customized into reading glasses. I lived in Boston and we were a little spoiled where the Lens Crafters, that's the name of the store where I got probably 100% of my reading glasses from, um, knew me so well. And I loved to customize 
sunglasses into prescription reading glasses and these were a customization and they were Tory Burch sunglasses that I zhuzhed up every time I wear these people are like where did you get those glasses and it's like the detailing with the silver I'm not huge on silver but this oh guys <laughs> I just love these I love a good pair of reading glasses and these are just so easy to throw on you could literally have all black on and then throw on this pair and they automatically make the entire look more interesting so Tori did that thing girl so my next pair is by Armani exchange and that is what the case looks like it's pretty standard y'all these I'm pretty sure you've seen me wear on vlogs these generally live by the side of my bed so I can just like reach them, reach up for them and then just wear them first thing in the morning because a child cannot see um but yeah man they're pretty standard I love the color if you guys are seeing a theme I love color with my frames and why just have a black frame when you could have all of this wonderfulness so these are Armani exchange very very lightweight thin frame and again I just like them they they're practical they go with everything I don't know what else to say I love them so we're getting into our Tom Ford phase let me just wipe these down hello yes I'm very smart mm -hmm. <laughs> guys these are some of my favorite Tom Ford glasses. I don't know if they used to be sunglasses that I converted into reading glasses or prescription glasses, but I had to have these. The frame on them, they just give you a very serious look. Like when you wear these reading glasses, people are like, wow, she has something to say. And generally I do, you know? But yeah, I love these. What do you guys think? Oh my god, I love this. These are all Tom Ford unless I say different. Just Yes. Oh Lord have mercy. Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing this? These are like not like naughty school teacher, but like definitely she does other things outside of the classroom. I just love this pair. Look at the frame itself. Oh my God. And yes, look at how these fresh braids look. I'm, just, I'm giving y'all everything I got today. Okay, face, beat, hair, done. Glasses, check. Okay. I just love these glasses so freaking much. Tom Ford did that. I don't care. Tom Ford, if you're ever looking for a company or a brand that does reading glasses prescription glasses sunglasses right tom ford is that girl i'm telling you tom ford is that girl do you see these um and the tom ford microfiber cloths come looking this way they have tom ford embossed in there as y'all can see i went through a little bit of a phase with these glasses but these are slightly cat eye not too much but just enough for you to have like an interesting look So that was Tom Ford. <laughs> These are the first Tom Ford pair I bought where I literally had to like sit back and be like, girl, you did that. You did that. And I appreciate a good pair of glasses. I mean, like I've said, so just check these babies out. Like I just, whew, I haven't forgot I had them. They're clear, so they're kind of see-through, and they just blend so well with the face. And I guess I can't really say I have one type of glasses that I generally purchase. I generally purchase what I think looks good with my face, and then we go crazy with the frames. <laughs> you know how we do? At least at this point, you know how we do. So yeah, these are the other Tom Ford frames that I have. I think these may be the last ones. But don't check me on that. Now we're gonna get into Miu Miu and some Prada. 
prescription glasses and I gotta tell you that um, I love Prada. I love Miu Miu. I believe Miu Miu might be like a sub brand of Prada or their sister brands. Um, but yeah, I love me some Miu Miu and Prada product and they never disappoint. Check out this case. This Miu Miu case is plush. It is velvet. It is rich. I mean, dang. Miu Miu. Stop it. You that girl. Okay, so here. Let me actually just show you the frames before I put them on. Look at that. I go into meetings and everybody generally comments on my glasses and I'm just like, yeah, girl. Look at you with conversation starters because sometimes it's hard to break through, especially in a room where you're the only, which I used to be when I was in my tech job where I was the only black woman, the only African woman, mostly the only woman so you were in there as the only and it gets to be pretty tough because you can't talk about how you went drinking with your buddies you know so that you can fit in I don't drink so then you definitely need to find a way that you can break the ice and generally for me it was through fashion fashion allowed me to have conversations with all kinds of people from all walks of life and glasses like these by Miu Miu definitely got the conversation going just look at how oh shiny that is it is just the light hits it in specific ways and boom you get that surprise but then at face value they just look like a nice pair of cat eye shaped glasses but mm, just a little extra something something you know what i'm saying we are never basic people never basic all right y'all we are now going down to our friends at dolce and gabbana uh mi piace l'italiano i used to speak italian a long time ago but i love me some italian brands and dolce and gabbana oh my god they make such quality prescription glasses and these are the cases they come in look at that guy i mean it feels oh, it feels incredible it is such a sturdy brand and when I first got my hands on these babies oh even the opening it's all magnetic <sighs> guys just quality you understand it's quality <sighs> I love these Dolce & Gabbana frames let me just get these cleaned up so I can wear them for you all so you can appreciate they have the Dolce & Gabbana branding on the side and one thing you'll see about my glasses is the frames might be a little ostentatious but the branding is always subtle so these are probably like as cat eye as I've gotten and I love them I love them so much because at the end of the day when you just need a quick pair to throw on like when you're going to the airport or in between meetings if your contacts bother you these are the perfect pair to just have as a quick pickup and swap around when you're busy these are also Dolce and Gabbana I just love the opening these ones have the magnetic case as well and oh girl are y'all ready for these i gotta show you the frames before i put them on because i was sold just on the frames themselves before i even knew like whether they look good on my face they are also cat eye shaped and just look at what the inside of the frames look like dolce and gabbana went through a season where they had this floral print and whoo, i saw that and i was like how how do you walk away from perfection guys I'm her. You, nice to meet you too. <laughs> the cat eye, the, the branding on the side, everything about these glasses, everything about these glasses I'm in love with. The color, mon dieu, I love everything. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go actually and show you my Michael Kors pair. You know, everybody knows Michael Kors pretty much. I found this pair and I gotta show them to you before I wear them. How cool are these? They are these frames that 
only have the top and not the bottom frame and the color you guys know my signature color at this point and just look at how oh my god good morning miss binja these are my teacher teacher glasses if i was gonna do it educate some babies you know you know the deal interestingly i only have one pair of burberry prescription glasses interesting i don't know i thought i was down with burberry but i guess not and they're not even in here so they're somewhere i don't know but you know that now let's get into we did dolce and now we're gonna finish our italians we're gonna go through our pradas and our valentinos and then basta we finish goodbye so we're gonna start with valentino this is the case that they come in it's just a nice flap opens up to that gorgeous red and child these were inspired i won't lie by my um tom ford that i showed you but they are the valentinos look at the actually before i put them on look at how tiny the frame is it's literally just a wire frame okay for all my tech nerds y'all got that but yes uh here we go look at that just so minimalistic i mean the see-through nature of the lenses the very thin frame oh my god i just every time i wear these and i generally like to throw these on when i travel because they're also super easy to just throw into a bag and grab these are just perfection i also go into these when i have like big girl meetings and oh yeah people are like wow she's serious and they're also conversation starter and every time people are like where did you get those glasses i'm like they're valentino <laughs> literally and people are like what valentino makes and I'm like, mm -hmm. they make prescription glasses so yeah these are such a fave of mine i i'm absolutely loving these huge huge fan 10 out of 10 that was a little scary even for me uh so then we go to prada that was what the case looked like here are the glasses love these glasses oh my god these oh my gosh from look at the frame and the tortoise shell and the fact that they're little cat eye everything you want in a pair of glasses I love these reading glasses so much. I've actually gotten people in flights like asking me where the heck did you get these glasses from? And I just say they're Prada. I sound bougie as hell, but it is who I am. If at this point in following this channel you have not realized that I'm bougie as hell, I am and I own it. Get into it. But yeah, I believe that's it. Those are all. <laughs> the pairs of prescription reading glasses I own. Feel free to let me know what you think below.